And I, I think that's very significant to bring out because there's somehow, and we noticed this yesterday and the day before in these hearings, this assumption that if you are exempt, you don't have any problem. But what about the, the cost of gasoline, the cost of diesel, the cost of fertilizer? How much has fertilizer gone up in the last five years, roughly? Oh, I couldn't give you the percent, but based on uh, my farm, I know I write a lot bigger checks than I used to. Yeah, and, and of course, the main ingredient there is natural gas. You're going to have uh, – this is going to cause that to go up. The chemicals, the, chemical, uh, the cost of everything doing business is going to go dramatically up. So even if you were exempt, those costs would continue. And you, you would like to be able to say that all those could be passed on. Some will be passed on, so the general public – my wife going to the grocery store, my 20 kids and grandkids that are eating meals are going to be paying more, uh, but the farmers also are going to be paying more and getting less out. Absolutely. 20% of our input costs in agriculture on average are energy-related. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Tolman.